Poor Namaste. Poor Namaste. We are here in the jungle. We are here in the jungle. And I gave you my word. Word that I am. I am shining my sun in my jungle. I came for some spring water every day. I do. And I give you my word. This is my service that I do for you. This is what feels right to me. This is what brings joy to my heart. And when I give you my word, I just want to give you more. And more word that I'm giving, more word I have to you to give. My heart expands. My energy expands. And I cannot stop. And I do videos. I do poetry. I do articles for you to feel the art of the world that I am and be truth revealed in your being. Not my truth, but your truth. And I'm not personal advisor. I'm not guru. I'm not life coach. I don't like to deal even with the mind in the comments because mind is always defending something, thinking something, trying to find in the mind. When you really feel the truth is revealed in being and where that I am here for that. So, I'm not here to chat. I'm not here to do things that people want me to do for them. They want me to guide them, to be their guru, to chat with them and all these things. But I have no problem saying no to them. You know, and I have great joy and great pleasure if doing my work and never work of another. And you have to understand in this world, you are free, you have no karma, you owe nothing to no one and no one owes nothing to you. If you don't expect people, control people, forcefully get their energy, resist, and you owe to others also nothing. And I give you my word, just you being love in highest vibration, you are doing greatest service in this world that you can do for everyone. I give you my word. You don't owe anything to anyone because truth of the matter is the illusion of the matter is that people in this world want things from you demand things from you they are suffering they need help they need some things that you have to do for them And then you have trouble. You feel in your being, I don't want to do that. I don't want, I don't have time. I'm tired. This just doesn't feel right to me. It's not my work to put up with this, to do this for them. But you do it. You do it. And in this way, you create karma. You choose karma. You go in your ego and your ego is blaming you blaming you that you are not a good good enough person that you are not a good person if you say no because you feel really no it doesn't feel right to you and then your ego blames you and you do it and you do it but you have to know you owe nothing to no one and no one owes nothing to you. You are free. And your energy, your giving is a joyful gift. It's a gift of your heart. That's love. You know. Your ego is always blaming you. 
that you should be and you should do what doesn't feel right to you. But it doesn't feel right to you in your heart, in your being. Because source that I am, your highest self telling you, your true self, that this is not your work. And it doesn't feel right. It feels like separation from self. And you should not do it. And when you do it, anyway, because your ego is blaming you for what doesn't feel right in your being, what source of all sources telling you you are not here to do that work, then you suffer inside. You are doing it every day, maybe. And you always suffer in separation from self. You cannot say no to them. You suffer. Others also exploit you. And one same for you from you. And you are never doing what is in your heart. You are never doing what feels right to you. You want to write that book. You want to write that article. You want to help that friend. Somebody always wants something from you. And you are always in separation from self. Always in that suffering. Hmm. And the resentment builds up within you, and you can end up hating somebody. You are not loving them. You are suffering for them. You cannot forgive. And because you are doing things that you suffer in, it creates mental disease. You enslave yourself. You let others enslave you. The truth of the truth is that you owe nothing to them. You owe nothing to no one. And you make yourself suffer. And you follow your ego blaming you for what does not feel right to you. Yeah. And then you do that. And you are giving your worst self. You are giving just 1% of your being. And actually what you are giving is suffering. And you are creating suffering. You are teaching them suffering. You are being a sacrifice. It doesn't feel right to you. You suffer. How can you suffer to save others? to uh, free others from suffering. Vibration creates reality and then you create suffering. You suffer and you teach them to suffer. You teach them to be sacrifice and give their power away when others want. You actually teach them that they should suffer for them, for others. That they should do what doesn't feel right to you. And actually you are not teaching them freedom of suffering, but you are teaching them suffering. And you suffer yourself. You are a sacrifice. You are acting like a Mary Magdalene. Like you are a sacrifice. For you think that you are your ego, your mind, and you judge what is good and what is uh, not good. But in your heart, you feel this is not right for you. And you teach suffering. You are being a sacrifice. You give your power away. You are not being a master. Because you do not do what feels right. You do not write that book. You do not do that service that feels right. You suffer for others. For you blame yourself. And you teach others suffering. Really. You teach others suffering. And the reality of the truth is that it doesn't feel right to you because it is not right for you. It doesn't feel right to you because it's not right for you. Source that I am signaling you, it doesn't feel right. It's separation from self. It's not your work. 
and you should be at peace like I know there is someone out there who will chat with you who will guide you although you are wasting time because they will guide you with their mind there is someone who will do these things for you that you want me to do I'm not that one and if I would do for you what that one should do chat personally guide you waste time in comments and all this do things for people that do not feel right I will actually give you just one percent I will give you my worst self like I do if people message me or start projecting their mind too much in comments then you get my worst self I'm not actually helping you I'm giving you my suffering I don't like to do it and then you are giving them one percent just and of your worst self of your suffering you are teaching them suffering and vibration helps them so now you affect them with your suffering and you suffer yourself <laughs> you know and like that you should tell them this is like I say art of the word that I am on Facebook the answer is within you, revealed in the silence of the mind. I'm not a personal guide. I'm not a chatter. I'm not a person who will guide you and take you by hand. But there is somebody out there who is to do just that with pleasure. And it is their work. Just like I am in all my joy ever expanding and more word that I am giving, more word... I want to give, more energy I give, more I want to give, I'm writing so much and doing so much because I'm in alignment with the source and I'm doing it in greatest joy, I cannot stop and somewhere, some, somebody is out there who is to chat with you with that greatest joy, deal with comments, debate with you, guide you, take you by hand and do all the things that you need. I'm not that one. And I'm depriving that one from their work. And you should also feel like this. For this is the truth. You know, this is the truth in our being. Yeah. And you should understand. You don't owe, you should perceive, you don't owe anything to anyone. And what feels right to you. And others want you to do it for them. If it feels like joy, that's alignment with the source. You want to do it. You are happy to do it. That's love. That's love. Otherwise, you are also, I want to say this, you are also not helping them. You are helping them that they can control others and they can expect from others and that others can be their slaves and that they can just get what they want. Like others are responsible for their suffering. You are actually teaching them that they can control, resist. You are teaching them suffering and you suffer yourself and you teach that they should suffer for others and you teach others that they should suffer for others. <laughs> Yeah. And they may be, you know, you may be sensitive empath, you feel so deeply everything, and you feel people, and you don't want to hurt people, you don't want to hurt people, you don't want them to be a, you want to be a bad person to because of their suffering, and they push and resist in you, they want you to help them in this way, they want you to do this for them, and they cannot quit. And then you blame yourself you're not a good person because you don't want them to suffer and you don't want to deprive them from your help, from your assistance. You're giving your power away. But on the other side, they maybe do not care for you. They do not give a fuck for you. They just want for you, for you to help them, to pick them out of their mess, to save them. And they don't care if you suffer for them. They don't care if you suffer for them. They only care that you give them what they want and do what they want. 
and you care that they would not suffer and you do it because you love them well they don't care they just only want that energy and now you're teaching them that they can be a demon they can exploit others it can be like this you do it because you love them you don't want them to suffer and be deprived of your help but they expect and push in you because they don't give a fuck for you and they just want your energy and they just want your energy and in these times you should really take care of yourself more than for others i tell you i give you my word why for everybody wants something everybody wants help today everybody is projecting something everybody is in trouble and you are in energetic trouble if you do for them everything what they do you sh if you are in alignment with the source if you are love and you are just being you are being the greatest service the kingdom is within you you are being that energy and if you don't want to do anything else for anyone else you can say no to everyone else because you didn't create their problems and whatever you are giving is joy of your heart and in these times you should really take care you should really take care you know of yourself more than for others that you are taking care that you serve yourself that you have peace and you know take care of yourself the best that you can be that you are in best alignment with the source in best vibration and this is all what you need to do and then whatever you give to others it must be joy it must be for you have time for you want to do it for is the joy of your heart for it's in alignment with the source for this is your true service in earth on earth what feels right to you what brings joy to your heart what expands your heart and like i'm giving you my word i want to do it and i cannot stop for one hour and if you message me i want to stop for a second it doesn't feel right to me stop projecting your mind When I give you my word, I can speak, speak, speak. I have to take care. I'll speak too long. And this is your work. This is your work. This is what you should do. What feels right to you? What brings joy to your heart? Takes you into alignment with the source. Takes you into the moment now. Or what doesn't feel right takes you in separation from self, in suffering, in time, uh, out of alignment. And there's somebody else who is to do this. And nothing else you should do, because you don't owe nothing to no one. Your service is gift for them. But you maybe think that you are your mind, and your mind is judging you that you are not good enough. That you should. Don't think about word that I am in your mind to get it in the mind to agree or disagree, to be true or not true. But feel the word that I am and let it be revealed as your truth. Don't judge in your mind if it's true or not. Feel and be the truth. As you know, I can tell you about this is in my example. I'm always telling no to people whatever doesn't feel right to me and they want so much things from me and I lose people okay but I gained myself for what feels right to you you want to cook you want to walk dogs you want to teach you want to preach you want to sing you want to write a book this is your work you want to help a homeless person you want to help your friend this is your work what really brings joy to your heart and i don't know what brings joy to your heart but this is your work and nothing else and if you start doing that what just feels right what brings joy to your heart what takes you in a moment whatever it is and you serve people in this way this is my work this feels right you will give them 144% of your energy because more you are giving more you want to give you are in moment now you are in joy you are love you are not suffering you are not being a sacrifice and you will become a master because master of your own energy it doesn't feel right you say no 
because I have to write that book. I have to do my service. I have to sing. I have to meditate. I have to serve in a way that I'm here to serve and it feels right. I cannot chat to you and guide you in messenger and comments. I have to write my articles and my videos and if I do this shit for you that you want me to do, I'm not helping you and not myself. I'm suffering and teaching you suffering. And then I'm not doing my work, giving the word that I am for everyone who wants to receive and get the answer within. And, and you will never do your work. You will never master yourself. Because I mastered myself by saying no to everyone and everything that wants something from me that's not right for me and doesn't feel right to me. And say yes always what, doesn't, what feels right to, you, to me. And in this way you practice your craft. You are being master of your energy. It doesn't feel right to you. You know you don't owe them nothing. And you are not a sacrifice. And you say no. You are master of your energy. And whatever says is right. Whatever feels right to you. You say yes. You do it for them. You write that book. You assist them. You guide them. You give them what they want. Because it feels right to you. You help homeless. You write the poetry. You write a song. You do your service for the world, for the humanity. It feels right to you. And like, I am in four years practicing, creating videos, writing, creating videos, writing, doing poetry, being a teacher, mastering. And in doing what feels right to me and rejecting what doesn't feel right to me, regardless the expectations of others, you know, Regardless the expectations of others, I mastered myself. I became a master. I became a master teacher, master writer, master poet, master spiritual master. Because I never doing anything else. I'm focusing on my work, what feels right to create, to teach, to do my work, never work of another. And in saying no to what doesn't feel right, I became master of my own energy, of my own mind. I'm not my mind. And you know, and then you practice your craft, like you play the piano, you write poetry, you teach, you are practicing, practicing, you are helping people, guiding people by hand, that's what I don't do. And whatever you are doing, because you are saying no to what people want from you to save them and you say yes to what feels right to you and do this for people, practice this craft, you become a master of your craft, of your energy. And what feels right to you is your work, is what you are here on earth to do. And that's why you become a master and you become a master of your craft that feels right, unique and authentic master. You master your craft. You master your craft and you become a master. because. What feels right to you, that you want to serve in this way, in this world, is what is right for you, is the source that I am telling you, this is your work on earth. And when you do that and reject everything that doesn't feel right, regardless of the expectation and other people crying and all this. Hmm. Remember, Jesus just walked away. He healed two persons, thousands were crying. He walked away. It was not his work, like it's not mine. My work is to teach, like was his. And your work is to get the answer within. And if thousands want me to do healing on them, I'm not doing. But I will teach and give uh, my help, my advice, my teaching to thousands. You know, master of my own energy. And I became a spiritual master, Zen master, poet, really profound psychologist that I feel everything because I have been teaching and practicing in myself psychology and I became a profound Buddhist psychologist master of my craft because I'm not doing anything else but teaching writing teaching writing teaching writing like I do but then you can say, but others suffer, but they blame me, but they cry, but they expect, but they push, but they resist. And then you do it. And then you suffer. You know, and you are not helping them. Because you teach them suffering, that they have to be sacrificed. And actually, you would help them only if you would say no to them. 
and say no because you would see like a Zen master that I am that their expectations they're blaming they're resisting they're crying they're trying to get forcefully is the problem that they are dealing in their life with because in their life they resist they control they try to force then they blame and gaslight and try to get their energy and just that what they want from you that you do for them what you don't want to do is the cause of problems in their life because they are controlling manipulating expecting from others always to do what doesn't feel right to them and others suffer for them then they create karma you know, and then they suffer in that karma. And just that unconscious shadow that is telling me, you have to save me. You are a very bad teacher. You are a very bad healer. What kind of healer you are if you don't help me? What kind of teacher you are if you don't save me? It's that expectations, that resistance, that being a victim and somebody has to save them, acting like they are masters of others masters of masters and we are as slaves in their control and manipulation and blaming emotional uh, violence gaslighting is the cause of their problems and then the only way that you can help them is to see that what they are resisting and forcing into you is the cause of all their suffering and you say no you help yourself bye oh. So it is. So it is. So it is. <sighs> because you are free as I am. You owe nothing to no one. And no one owes anything to you. And you are not your mind. You are not your mind. Because mind is thinking that is you and thinking you are not a good person. And in your mind you think if it's good to do that or I'm not good or it's good. You are deciding in your mind. About it, what you feel. And it doesn't feel right to you. You should just trust. This doesn't feel right to me. Because it is not my work. It's work of another. And that's why it doesn't feel right to me. And you should not think about it. You should just not do it. Because it doesn't feel right to you. And if others want it and resist, blame push this resistance is creating karma and this is the cause of all suffering and if you do it you teach them more suffering you teach them to control others you should walk away you don't owe no one no energy you are a master and you have to know when you act like no one owes you energy no one can do to you what you do to no one and if it doesn't feel right to you, it's not your work. And if you are to do it, you are to be a sacrifice, you will sacrifice yourself, you will suffer. And you will teach suffering in this world and you will teach others to suffer. And also you will teach egos to control others. You will teach, like, if people are crying and are really in bad condition but you really feel this is not my work this is not my work but they are not pushing they are not controlling they are not forcing you that you should do it but you feel oh i have to do it i'm not a bad i'm a bad person if i don't do it i will suffer okay i do it they are already in a really terrible condition they are being a victim and suffer in this world and now you are um, thinking that you are a master and you are suffering for them. You are being a sacrifice. And now you are teaching them that they should sacrifice themselves for others as you did. And suffer for them. And then what you are creating is you are giving them water. But you are giving them poison. Because they suffer already so much. And now they will think that they have to suffer for others. And like you should just tell them. Like I tell them. Listen. Like I told to a beautiful sister who was really... I said, I love you, I feel your pain and, you know, but this is not my work here. 
on Facebook. I do videos. I do writings. And you, if you feel, if you search you are to find your answers the answer is within you and I told her but there is somebody else outside who is a spiritual uh, advisor guide life coach guru I'm not that kind of a person and I have to tell you you don't need it you need to feel and find your own truth and guide yourself and this is what I do and I hope you find if you need somebody to guide you like I tell them this is not my work. Doesn't feel right to me, but you are welcome to my work. And between lines, I tell them you should not suffer for others. You should not be sacrificed for others. You should do what feels right to you. And so many times they suffer just for that, because others make them suffer. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What is there to say more? I said that it feels right to you, no? In your heart. Yeah. And when you really practice what feels right, you find yourself, even if it's walking dogs, if it's talking to people, and when you find yourself, you realize that you are an advisor, life coach. You are practicing what feels right and rejecting what doesn't feel right. And in this way, you are claiming your power back by saying no to everything that doesn't feel right. You are no more a sacrifice of others in this world everybody wants to be. You are a master. You say no to others like Jesus Christ said. When thousands wanted him to heal them. Now you are master of your energy. And you don't suffer for others, you don't waste time, but you write that book. You help people in a way that you feel. You advise them, you don't want to carry wood for somebody, you want to advise somebody, you do that. And in doing it, you are mastering your craft, you are mastering your craft. You are mastering your energy by saying no to everything where it doesn't feel right and others expect it. And then you become a master of your craft. Because you're practicing your craft. You're doing your work and not the work of another. And what doesn't feel right, what makes you suffer, regardless what others want, is not your work. And what feels right, what expands your heart, what brings your heart in joy, what takes you in the moment, it's your work. You know? And when you are to practice it and do what feels right to you and say no, regardless what others ex accept, expect, you are to become the master of yourself. Because like I feel, I was 20 years in India, I sacrificed all my life like Buddha, I sacrificed everything, I left my girlfriend, I left my family, I left my school, I left my everything everything all my life and didn't have nothing but myself and I went to India and 20 years I worked on myself I sacrificed all my life to become a master to become an enlightened master and now somebody wants me to save them uh, to do for them because you, you are free you are so blissful you are so happy I'm suffering but you didn't see my sweat and blood you know And they put themselves in that messes. They are still dealing with things that I was free, this life not born. They are attached, they are controlling. And they have chosen to live in this way. And like I say, I have sacrificed my youth, my my youth, my all my life to become a master. And really, I worked on myself all days long and meditated all days long. Nothing else I did. And shadow work. I wanted to release my karma, heal my karma. I wanted to get enlightened. Enlightened master so I can do the work. And they created that suffering themselves. They have terrible relationship. They are resisting. They are forcing. 
And just because I am free, they want me to save them and act like they are what I have to be their slaves. And I see their mind put them in their mess and now they want to control me, force me, resisting their mind. I smash their mind because in this way I help them the most. They should do the work and they should not control, force, blame anyone. Because whoever truly wants help from you is to respect you. He knows that you have something what he is seeking, freedom of his suffering, and you can bless him to give him. And if you say no to such person, they know you are a gift for them, and they will say thank you. Like beautiful, my sister Kariana Car said when I told her, this is not my work, but I love you and you are welcome to my work if it helps you. And may you find somebody who helps you in this way. I'll do healing on you, baby. And she was like, thank you. Thank you. I will come to your class and thank you for your healing. She knew that I don't owe nothing to her. And that I'm a gift for her. That actually I'm free of her suffering. And then she received the very answer that she seeked in the next teaching. Because also this teaching is inspired by Nina. That's what I do. And the next video that was up was answering her entire question. Because I don't want to guide her, but I want to tell. But I want to teach about the subject, and not one, but many. And then I actually made a video and she got what she was asking for just because she accepted and that it's not my work, it's work of another. And those who really want your help, they love you for who you are, they appreciate you and they know you are a gift for them. They will never gaslight you, blame you, resist and force. And you should help only those. Those who resist, try to forcefully get and even blame you and gaslight you. They don't love you, they want your energy. And their expectations, their control, their blaming and manipulation is the cause of all suffering. And you have to help them and free them of that, their suffering. So you free yourself of suffering. Because you are a master, you are not a sacrifice. You owe no energy to no one. You are not your mind, you are the heart. And what feels right to you, what you wanna do, is what you are here to do. It's source that I am telling you in your heart. This is your work. And not a work of another. And you should do it. That's why it feels like joy takes you in a moment. And you expand yourself. You embody your divine being. You become. You master your craft in practicing and doing what feels right. You embody the greatest master that you are. You master your craft and you do greatest things. Things that no one else can do. But you on earth. Because they feel right to you. Your unique and authentic service. Because you have followed what feels right. And you have been doing what feels right to you. Brings joy to your heart. And whatever doesn't. You knew it's not your work. It's a work of another. And then you become a greatest master. Master of your craft. You master your craft. And... There's no one like you because you did what feels right to you and you mastered yourself in your work and not work of another like art of the world that I am my work, chatting, debating, work of another. And I'm master of my work, Zen master, because I always did my work what feels right and walked away what doesn't feel right. And I am you. And I give you my word only for that. So you stop doing for people what doesn't feel right. You are not a sacrifice. You are a master. What feels right, you actually help them with happiness, with joy. You bring joy and happiness in this world. In being freedom, you bring freedom in this world. In being sacrifice, you're teaching others to sacrifice and suffer. In suffer for others, you teach suffering. And you bring suffering into your world. Nothing else. But I want you to be free of suffering. You are free as I am. And whatever you give is gift of your love. Whatever doesn't feel right, 
is not your work. If others want it and expect it, resist and push, this is cause of their suffering. You should help them and not do for them what I want. And help yourself, become a master. And I am you. I give you my word only for that. And if anybody feels in your heart like you want to offer a donation to the art of the world that I am, like you want to offer a support, do you know I will not chat with you, I will not guide you in messenger, I will not do any of these things. But do know I'm so grateful for that. And if there's any blessing in my heart, let it go to you. You have given me something. The blessings that I require, I want to give you all my heart. If there's any blessing in my heart, it goes to you. But you have to do the work to get them, to master yourself. But without of your donation, there will be no out of the world that I am. And I'm grateful like a little child. Really. From the heart. From the heart. From the heart. <laughs> really, I am. And because I don't do anything what doesn't feel right to me. I'm even strange in comments. <laughs> you see. But I want to give you something. Because you've given me gift, I want to give you gift of my heart. So I do white light source healing on you in silence. I don't tell you anything. I don't message you about it. It's quantum white light source healing. You don't need appointment. You don't need to stand still. I'm so clairsentient. I only need, I only see your PayPal address, your email address in PayPal, it's enough for me to connect with your energy and I, and I give you my work. I do complete healing on you for every single donation regardless of the size. But I, what, what would I say? I only give you my best energy for the energy I'm really grateful that you've given me. And what you do with my healing, I do. I do healing as I must do. I take care, I take my energy. And I take my time and I do it. But what you do with it is up to you. You heal yourself, you save yourself by your faith, by you being the truth. If you think that you are your mind and you blame yourself and you do for others what they want and expect because they suffer, you're being sacrificed, you teach others sacrifice, you suffer, you teach suffering, no one can heal you, you're being a sacrifice. But if you understand that what doesn't feel right to you is work of another, that's why it doesn't feel right to you, and others expect and suffer and control and cannot take, this is their problem, they create their suffering. And when you understand you are a gift for them, and you do what feels right, you are a gift for them, not a sacrifice. You are a master, you are not their slave, and you are not their master. And then you do what feels right for those that feel right, and you do your work, you do your work, never work of another. You become a master of your craft. You heal yourself, you save yourself from more suffering. I give you my word only. For every donation I do healing, I'm so grateful for you. But you have to save yourself, but stop doing and suffering for others. So you stop suffering yourself, stop being a sacrifice for others. So you can be master and you can do your work and serve in your work in this world and do greatest thing and be that greatest thing. And I'm saying this to everyone. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for everything that feels right. Others you cannot get for me. And I'm not taking it. But I am you and I want you all to stop doing what doesn't feel right to you and do what feels right to you. So you stop suffering for others. So you stop suffering and you stop suffering in this world. To stop being a sacrifice, teaching others to suffer, and you can be master of your craft and forever happy in doing what you love for those who love you and respect you. What feels right. Love. Master, not a sacrifice. I give you my word just for that. Poor Namaste.